Hello. Signum 3.0 is ready. Just when you thought I, I wasn't making keyboards anymore. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> here she is, uh, all of the majesty, incorporating a lot of the uh, design tricks from the 3.1 into uh, in the 40% build. So we've got a very solid layout with the alternative switch positions for any of your columns. And this is set up so that you can have uh, a grid layout, the horizontal grid layout, uh, ortholinear layout. So these switch positions actually support this lowest position here, matches up here, and matches up to the highest position here. So you can put these switches all the way in a line, all the way across, which is pretty neat because that was a request from the last one. Uh, we've got our USB jumper headers so that you can get a hard mount for the uh, USB cable. As in this one. Man, this is bad light. <laughs> See the USB cable is attached to the circuit board and then the plug is attached to the circuit board. And you can see those are just connected straight through to each other. So you don't have to worry about yanking the cable. And of course that's completely optional. <clears throat> uh, but we've got alternative switch positions here. This is laid out so that you can have these second and third thumb hole thumb uh, switches. I know the thumb hole's gone. That was just you know, it was just wishful thinking on my my mouth. Freudian slip. You can lay out your your additional thumb buttons here, and they're not duplicates this time. We're actually taking the three keys from the bottom of these columns right here and dropping them down over here, so that you have a better representation. And then that your thumb has. Your thumb can rest in the middle and then it can go out and in without having to go in and then in again because we want we want as many keys right next to our resting position as possible. Makes everything faster. This will still support the Pro Micro and this lovely switch. There we go. This lovely position right here in the bottom right is still open. Uh, I know it looks like I've got some. I've got some. I uh, took some artistic privilege here with some of these traces, so uh, don't don't get mad at me. <laughs> it's just this this mess looks so. Boy, get out of here. There we go. This mess just looks so sweet to me. This this mass of of traces. It's just <clears throat> it looks so cool. Uh, and I'm getting it done in black. I'm gonna get it done in black. So that it'll have that uh, <clears throat> that same appearance here, where everything's just very black and even and shiny, uh, and you can make out some of the traces. It won't be as bad as on the as bad or as good as on the uh, the green version, the 3.1, because the 3.1 had like you can see everything on there, and I have really bad lighting in here. <laughs> But it's it's getting set. It's going to be cut, and uh, I should have some in a week or two, and then I'll be able to test them out, and we can uh, start get some prototypes. Not prototypes. This is a this is not a prototype actually. It's a final release. I mean, assuming I didn't screw something up terribly, <laughs> which hasn't happened on the last two. So I think we're we're pretty okay there actually. So this will be a final release. This is the 3.0, Signum 3.0. Uh, it does not have the OLEDs. That's going to go into that's that stuff is moving into a different project, um, which will be announced soon too, and be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I think that's it. We've got this laid out. The uh, features Pro Micro, your wire mount, uh, extra thumb holes. Yeah. Oh, and redid the rounding on these edges here. That was very, very important thing that had to be done. That's about all I got. Um, so yeah, we'll look for that in a few weeks. 
and uh, I'll keep you guys updated.